Hi guys, uh, just another quick uh, update uh, with the flood situation in our subdivision here. Um, it rained on and off all night. Um, the sun was coming out just now. Um, so the water didn't go up at all during the night, which is good news. Um, so what I'll do, I'll turn the can around for you and uh, so you can see how things are here. See you in a second. So I hope you can hear me because of the, uh, the wind. So this is the situation at the moment. So see our street is flooded. So what we go by, so just like to, it's 9.30 in the morning. So Thursday, 20, 23rd, Jerry, is it 23rd, Jerry? Last year? Yeah. Oh. Anyway, it's Thursday, 9.30. So I have some signs here on my wall, the Panthers. And here you can see the level of the water. So that's how it was last night. So even though it was raining on and off, the water level didn't. So, and when that reaches that sign, I have another sign on this wall here. So this is how then we measure the, uh, the water level. So uh, yeah, I've got my wellies on again. Um, I just like to say thank you to um, all of the subscribers or the the non-subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. It uh, helps the channel. Um, yeah, thank you for everybody uh, for your concern and uh, for tips on how to how to survive a flood. Uh, so we did have the same situation last year. Well, you got worse. So this is the thing. So uh, I've just got a, a warning. Um, from the uh, electric company, a typhoon warning. So there's, there's another storm coming, and we have a dam not far away. If they open the dam, then all that water will come down to here. Which is so uh, that's that's the thing that we're very concerned about now. That's what happened last year. So to stop the flooding on their side, they opened the dam, released the water, and it all came down to here. So, uh, what I'll do, guys, is my neighbour also, I'll uh, I'll go down to the end of the road, and we'll see uh, the situation at the river. So, see you there in a second. So, I'm almost at the end of our, our street. You can see the... Uh, People here have been trying to block their gates up, and uh, I'll just show you my boots. That's that's how much <laughs> I'm, go I'm going to try. I should be okay. I'll try and get to the end of the street. Um, oh, it's starting to rain now, and I haven't got my umbrella and my hat. Oh dear. Uh, anyway, we'll. We'll, we'll carry on. So, uh, yeah, I don't think much has changed since my last update last night, which is a, a good sign. Um, we have to wait and see what happens in the next 24 to 48 hours. But it says it's 9.30 now, and uh, high tide is usually around uh, 10.30. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see... Uh, what happens there? And uh, low tide is done again 6 o'clock or 6.30. The, the dogs still try and follow me. Uh, 6. Ah, so, okay, the water's going down here, actually. So uh, what we'll do, we'll still take it to the bridge, just to show you uh, how the, if I can get over to that grass there. 
So I did show you, if you watched my video yesterday, the, uh, the river, the river bank, how much, so we'll just go over here, oh, so you, it's exactly, so that's, this is, this is the wall here, so you can see it's just gone over, so, so the situation now is, as soon as the river goes up, which it will do, in, uh, in an hour's time, although someone, I don't know if you can see that, over the, over the back there, there's a boat, <laughs> so, so this is now, this is now critical, how the high tide, um, let's see, my, my house, my house is right down at the bottom of the road, and because we're on a slope, the water reaches us uh, later, a bit later than uh, the the other houses. So you can see, you can see the water flowing now over there. So yeah, it's starting to happen now, guys. As the river rises. So this is now, this is now important. So you can see here, so the water's just starting to, just starting to creep over here. This is, this is another part of the wall. And you can see there also the, the river is, is up to the bridge now. Usually there's a gap there. So we'll, uh, we'll go over. So you can see the the river's actually it's coming over here also, over here, and now it's you can see see the flow of the water and it's flowing down here. So it will flow now into this. You see, this this wasn't this, uh, didn't have as much water as yesterday, so that's flooding now. So it's it's starting. It's starting. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh dear. Oh dear. So, uh, yeah, I showed you yesterday the, the wall here, so you can see, oh, down there, here, it's like the river's gone over. So it will flood first this side, this side of the, uh, the river first, or more. So I showed you the sign on my wall, it didn't change because all the water's coming on this side. You see, there's a, there was only a little bit of water yesterday here. And, uh, and that road shut off. The guy revving his motorbike. So, and here. Uh, actually, yep. It hasn't gone so you can see that the walls are not they're not level the the water's going over yeah, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. is he gonna make it is he going to make it he's doing his best oh oh Oh, it's still going. He doesn't know which road to go down to. Morning. So, uh, so, that's the situation at the moment, guys. So, from my side of the house, it, it was the same as yesterday. Here looks slightly worse. Um, I said we. I did get a, uh, an alarm from the town electric company, a typhoon alarm, and 
uh, also from the uh, town rescue uh, services at the Pampanga River, which is the river, the big river that we live next to, that, that is also at a critical level. So, as I said, the next the next 24 hours, 48 hours will be uh, critical. So, uh, anyway, guys, I'll leave it at that now and uh, keep you posted if anything changes. I'll probably um, show you at 10:30 or 11 when the when we have the high tide. And uh, yes. so uh, I'll leave it at that. Call you in at uh, the Highview subdivision flooding. So until, uh, until my next update or video, I'll catch you then. Bye guys.